can you introduce yourself? So my name is Eyo. Okay, can you state what happened to you? Can you summarize what happened to you? Yeah, that was on the second of October. So I, I came out from my compound. I saw people full in the streets. The police, I think they were SARS, so they were arresting people. So I went to my phone to have a video what happened. So one of them called me. I just woke up to them from the I think like a, a little distance. I just woke up to them, they asked me what am I doing? I should give them my phone, I'll give them my phone. So he landed me slap on my ear. He asked me to come and sit down. Please speak a little louder. He asked me to come and sit down. So as you follow them, push the moto. I don't know what happened to the moto. He asked me to follow walk, push the moto. So when they finish everything, he asked me to enter. I said, please sir, what happened? Why you want to arrest me? They now slap me. One of the carry guns, I know you're going to fire me. So they begin to beat me. I said, they took my phone. So I entered the mall to follow them. They took me to one station. At where? At uh, Aqua Gizam police station. So uh, where, where, they, where, where is it located? You know you? I think uh, that is uh, around road. The around road express. Okay. Aqua Gizam police station. I see my the police station. So they asked me to enter the office. They used my church that was tied with uh, red clothes. They, they beat me, all my body, the wound. They slapped me with my head, my head spinning me. They asked me to sit down on the floor. They asked me to bring 500,000. I said, I saw an African money. What am I going to call the 500,000 from me? They said, I should sit down on the floor. They used my chairs to beat me up and down. They collected my iPod, hit it on the floor. They seized my phone. They asked me, what am I doing? I told them that I work in the hotel. So what am I doing? I said, I'm not, doing, uh, I'm not working for now. I'm just rent house in New York. I want to stand it like this. OK. They said, they go through my phone. They saw the picture that stand in the airport. They said, that what am I doing in the outside country? I said, I'm, I just went back from outside country. They said, I need to pay them 500000 You know, ask me to video them. I said, nobody. I just see what is happening in the streets. I just to the video. If I have any bad intention, I could have run. But you call me. I walk up to you and explain. OK, please, I delete the video and ask me to go. They said, I must pay them 200000 they begin to beat me up and down. They asked me to call. I call my girlfriend to call. They collected her phone, searched her phone. They get used to give her the phone. They used my chip to treat her and slap her. So she now gave them the phone. They begin to search me, to search up and down. So then they asked me to read a statement. I said, okay, they asked me, okay, so we should pay the money. I said, okay, let's do transfer to say no. They should come withdraw the money. Come and give them. So we went to withdraw the money, come and give them. They wrote the statement. They asked me to sign. They get all my information. So that is what happened that day. So, after. so you you saw what did you really saw that made you to start recording? What, what did you see? They were arresting people, and the people were fooling the street because I'm just new in the environment. I don't know what happened. All you can show my friends says, what is happening in your street? Is it what is going on here? Please, that I'm scared. That's the need to. And there was no bad intention on it. So they called me. I just you, you were just concerned by what was happening? Uh, yes, I just stand far from there. So they, one of them called me. So I should come. I, I just go. I mean, this has operatives. How many were there? There were many in number. But the people that, like four, the four people that really focused on me. They slapped me, used my chains on me. They, at the end, they collected the money. They collected the 20,000? Uh, no, the 20,000. And when we moved all the money, we paid them to collect 15, so no grief. So we sat everywhere. They discovered that we have 19,700. They said we don't have transport to pay back home. They now collected uh, 19,000 and leave the 700 now for us to pay transport and go back home. When they took you to their office, did any of their superior officers meet, meet with you? The place on caves. The way they treat human beings in that place is the place is not even close to people's house. There's nothing that's going on there. They're drinking alcohol. They treat people like animals. Animals in that place. This much to beat people, even women. They are detaining they people there. They slap women, people there. People were crying. They even told me that uh, if I do not, they would just kill me and shoot me. They used to kill people. They told you they used to kill people? Yes, they said they can kill me and waste here. I said, why, please, they should just release me and go. I was just scared. 
So this is south of, south of it at Oron Road in Uyo. Yes. And this happened on the 2nd of October. October, yes, sir. So what is your name again? My name is Ayo. Ayo what? Ayo ICN. Ayo ICN. Yes, sir. Okay. So do you want the government to... Yes, yeah, sure. If they can do something so that other people not face all this kind of embarrassment, like me now, they were just treating me as an animal. Like I'm not a human being. Like I'm, I don't know what is going on. I was scared. They used gun on me. They said they were not going to fire at me. They were use they use matches. Just to see the way they treat human being like animal. If I commit to offense, you you sue me to court. One of them even said you can sue you to court right now. I said if that one is the case, you can do that work so that those can follow. How can you be treating human being like animal? So that's the only thing that happened that day. So they deleted the video you recorded. They sent the video to them. And deleted it from my phone. They sent it to who? One of their officers, the phone through uh, sender, and deleted it from my phone. I don't have the video on my phone, okay. so they are the one that have the video. So I was just trying to reach my rights. I, I called them. The number was not good, so I meet one man and explained to them, say I should just leave. That did not they will. Uh, since I give them my information, and these people that they don't behave like and, uh, human beings, they can come and kill me. So please, I will just forget about it. I was just scared. But if government is not doing anything, this is can happen to another person. That place, no, it's on care. It's not even sitting down and drinking alcohol, doing anything, just walk empty body. Like it's not even like a police station self. Hmm. Sorry for what happened to you. Even my ear right now, I don't feel comfortable. All my body is bent. For what?